everyone welcome back to my channel i am doing a get ready with me video i am going to be taking my driver's license photo today so i just wanted to pass along some of the tips that i've learned in taking a nice photo i know this driver's license photo is going to follow me around for the next few years so why not make it a good one so i'm going to go through basically my hair my makeup what i'm going to wear how to position myself in the photo to try and get a very nice driver's license photo so let's go ahead and get started so I start by applying a little bit of moisturizer onto my face. Then I draw on my eyebrows. I sculpt the eyebrows with a little bit of concealer. I apply my first foundation. Then my second foundation I apply because I'm like an in-between color so the both mixed together make the perfect color right now. A little bit of concealer to highlight the face. A little bit of setting powder. I don't bake long, so it's not gonna be there very long. Just a natural contour, adding depth and dimension back to the face. Warming it up. And I just sweep the setting powder off. Add a little bit of eyeliner some mascara, and I did add lashes, blush, and some highlight. Now I would do a natural lip. If you love wearing red lipstick, then go ahead and wear it if that's like your signature look. If not, I would try and stick with a natural lip. So onto the hair. So I'm using this Baby Bliss wand that's just going to add a nice little wave to my hair. I wouldn't suggest doing a new hairstyle. I would try and stick with something that you normally wear on a daily basis. So now I'm all done curling my hair and you can see that it has this nice little wave to it. Put a little bit of hairspray. I use olive oil edge control right on my edges to lay them edges down. So I don't have any flyaways, everything looks just nice and crisp. I use this really cool brush that I got at a beauty supply store that's made just for your edges. Now I'm all dressed. I have jeans on and I have this lilac shirt. It doesn't really matter what type of bottoms you have on, they're not going to see it. And what I can suggest with the color shirts that you're going to wear is try to have something on the softer side. So a lot of DMVs have either white or a blue background. So don't wear a white shirt, a blue shirt, or even like a black shirt. You don't want to uh, get washed out. You don't wanna blend with your, your background. So try and stay away from those colors. I would suggest doing a soft color like this one. And I would also suggest not to wear a shirt that's cut very, very low. I also suggest not to wear a shirt that has large logos or bold prints, busy prints or anything like that. And just a couple more tips. If you have allergies or you have red eyes or you have a cold, it's good to put eye drops in your eye before you take your photo. So if you're sitting down, same thing as if you're standing, you can walk up there and when you turn around, you have to be ready because they'll snap the photo quick. So here's just like my, you know, advice. I learned this when I was watching the Tyra show like 10 years ago. So she said to turn your body to an angle. So you would turn either, you know, the chair, your body facing an angle or your feet stand to an angle. Then you would turn and dip your shoulders towards the camera something with just the way that it's positioned, it just helps your photo. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my feet one direction away from the camera and then I'm gonna turn to the actual camera. Now you can keep your head down so the lady doesn't take your, or the lady or a man takes your photo while your head's down. They're not gonna do that. They're gonna wait until you put your head up. So when you're ready, put your head up. Another thing is, you know, to smile, but not smile too, too hard. So you want to smile, but you don't want to do like a 
to where your face is like, you know, nice and chunky and your cheeks and you look scared. So you don't want to do that. Just a nice, simple smile. Not too much. And then also you want your eyes to be open. A little bit more than what you would normally walk around with because you don't want the photo to, you know, have like squinting eyes. So you just want them to look a little bit bigger than normal. So you're going to face to an angle. You're going to dip to the camera. You're going to smile a little bit. Eyes are open and take the photo. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Hopefully you use it when you take your next driver's license photo. Please, please, please like and subscribe if you did. And let me know in the comment box if you would like me to do a more in-depth makeup look video for you. I can. So I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks, guys.